Hi everyone. Now we will talk about database query builder in Laravel. So first we'll discuss what is query builder, how we can get data from database with the help of query builder, how we can make queries, how we can insert, update and delete data with query builder. At last we'll discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, interviews and project. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. So let's move on first question. What is query builder? We know that whenever we want to use database with the Laravel, we have two options for that. First one, we can use eloquent model. Second, we can use Laravel database class. This Laravel database class has some, some functions and these functions actually build a query in the Laravel and that will perform some operations in the database and get the data according to that. For example, if you want to get data from the database for the complete table, you can use this db class and then table function and arrow and this get function. This will build a query like select star from user or select star from users table. Similarly, we can make any query. For example, if you want to update data, delete data, you want to get maximum value, minimum value, you want to apply where condition or order by. Everything is possible with these database class functions in Laravel and that we called query builder, right? Okay, so now let's see how we can actually perform these operations and we'll see some examples. So first of all, I am just making one controller, uh, controller and one view so that we can perform these operations and display the data. So let me make PHP artisan make controller and our controller name will be users controller. And let me enter it and now you can see that in our app and HTTP and controllers, we have a fresh new controller. And similarly, I'm making one view also, PHP artisan make view and view name is also users. So you can go to the resources, views, and there we have one file also. So let me add one text, h1 tag, users data or something. And let me open the PHP artisan also, ah, sorry, uh, PHP admin also and there we have a table with the name of users so we will perform some database operation in this table with the query builder all right so the next thing that we need to do first we need to make a route for our uh, user controller so let me make a function there let's say function name is uh, queries or something anything you can just keep this function name and for now i am returning this queries text only we will make change there but let's first test the route and then what we can do we can import our uh, user controller in our routes file and let me make a route route get and inside this let me make a users route and in a second parameter we can use this users class colon colon class and let's put the function name in the second column there and let's use the semicolon with import and this route all right so now let's again run our php artisan server and check on the browser is it working fine or not let's me let me just use here users and you can see that queries this function is perfectly working fine so the next thing what we need to do in our user controller we have to import the database class for that just simply use their use uh, illuminate then uh, support and then facade facades and then db so this db class is basically responsible for the query builders and keep in mind uh, the spelling should be correct for everything illuminate support and facade otherwise this will not work right and then let's take a response variable and use db colon colon a table function and then we can put your table name which is users dot get and now you will see all data we will able to get inside this response so let's let me try to print it over the ui and you will see that we okay let me see there is an error because we have to use your arrow not the dot 
sorry for that because sometime i work with the javascript and node also so that's why i just uh, by mistake put their dot so now you can see that we get the old data from the database now before performing some other operations let's display it on the uh with the help of view also right and yeah this is the simplest query that we build with the uh, laravel database class so now to return let me return a view there with the view function let's simply put users which is view name and then data that we want to display so let me put there users and there let's use response variable and uh, now what we can do let's use this users uh, in our view as a variable but before that let me make tr and td let's say name then again one more td uh, email and last td for phone right then we can use their for each i already told you how we can use for each and how we can use it so i'm not gonna explain it in depth so now let's use their dollar users as dollar user dollar user and then you can end with the end for each and you can just use this tr there and you can simply use their dollar user then name and similarly we can use email and phone also email and phone okay so now you can see that there we can see the data in the table and if you want to add some border even better if you will use the css border but for quick i am just using the html border perfectly fine so the next thing is uh, that me uh, maybe you want to do so let's say i want to get the result all result which has phone number is 1234 so for that we have to use the where condition and uh, i am just commenting out this where condition and putting one more like this so now uh, you can replace okay after the table just use their where function and inside this put condition so let's say phone comma one two three four right and then you can use their get function at last and that will get the result only the rows which have the phone number one two three four and now let's refresh and still you can see that we are getting the perfect data right so if if let's say if you want to get the data with, with this one and if you'll refresh then see there is a no data at all right okay so the net now, now let's say you want to get only one data you want to get the first data so what you can do that uh, you can simply put there first you don't need to get or something but this will actually return the data if you will see if i'm just returning there you can see that this will return one row right but if you want to uh, display it in the brow uh, on the UI with the view it will not work reason being because now this is ha has only single data and this is the object not the array to make it array what you need to do you can simply do that result uh, response array and inside this let's put response now it will work here it is all right so this is the way that how we can build queries and get data and uh, now let's say if you want to insert some data then how you can do that okay so let me comment out of all of these things and uh, whenever we want we want to insert we don't need view because we just inserting the data not displaying so for that what you can do you can again just copy this response and uh, now you can use insert function and this insert function use basically insert and this function uh, uh, you, uh accept uh array and inside this array we can put the name for example i'm putting name and name can be for example tony tony name is tony name is not present present in the table then email for tony let's say tony at the rate test.com and now let's say phone number phone there we can say that double one double zero this is the phone number right and uh, after that if everything is work fine we, what we can do check there if response 
dollar response is true we can echo data inserted else uh, we can echo there or we can maybe return there data not inserted right and after that let's refresh it and now you can see that data inserted so let's see are we getting one more row there here you can see that perfectly working fine so after that uh, let me just make it comment it out and now we want to update this data right so let's say you want to uh, what we can do there you want to put a where condition and uh, where can so you can just remove everything after the table function and put their where and inside this where what we will do we will uh, change one condition where uh, where name is Tony right and uh, we just need to put like this where name is Tony what we need to update there update and in this update we can use array and let's say change their phone number and what phone number we have to use there so let's say current phone number is double one double zero so i'm making their double one double two double three right and let me just put a semicolon there and now let's see and let's change their data updated data note updated and now you will see this data is updated and check the phone number this is also updated if you will just try to run again this this will show data is not updated because data is already updated in this condition right so uh, next time if you just run this same query then data is not getting updated perfect so now let's talk about last thing so let's say you want to delete something so again you can copy this paste it here and if just uncomment these things and where condition is perfectly fine where name is Tony and just simply use delete function and with the delete, delete function we have to change the text also deleted and not deleted and if you will run first time you will see data is deleted now there is no Tony at all but if you will again refresh data will be not deleted because this user is already getting deleted and uh, at last so let's try to still again get the data is it working or not with the table here it is this is perfectly working fine so that's all for this part if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and uh, this is my ptm number for donation thanks guys